Hello YouTube, Badge here. Today I am back with another Fallout 4 video, and uh, I'm progressively getting sicker and sicker as I'm trying to record this Let's Play, but it's okay. <clears throat> I'm, and so you're gonna hear as I'm coughing, it's gonna be a little gross, but uh, anyways, so where did we leave our power armor by the way, because not only do we need our power armor, of course, it's insane. It's in Sanctuary. I think we still need to repair it, actually. <laughs> Hopefully we have the, uh... Hopefully we have the technology. Because, uh... <laughs> that's not gonna be good. Because, uh, we kinda need to go into the glowing sea. And, uh... Yeah. The glowing sea. You guys get it. Kinda, kinda need power armor to survive. I mean, maybe you know, maybe I should get better power armor. But uh, wait, what? Where was the XO one power armor? There's a full suit somewhere. Actually, no, there's not. You have to be level. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll look. Um, if you want to uh, make me a second printing press while you're at it, and we need to repair absolutely every part. Or it won't count as, uh... Yeah, we need to equip it all, too. Cool. We have, uh, repaired our power armor. That was easy. Actually, is there anything we can really do with it? Like, uh, modify, you know? Oh, wait. Like, uh... Misc mod, is there anything? Wait. Oh, wow, we have all the material for it, but we can't craft it because... Okay. Okay. One thing that I want to do real quick is I'm gonna... Uh... Hello. Okay. So, I'm going to... Just real quick... This is not gonna be anything too complicated, but I'm gonna I'm gonna build uh let's see metal No, let's do no yeah, let's go with metal. Uh, we're gonna do metal walls. Let's see. So wait hold on, it's like wait one second. Grid snap on? I don't know what that means. Grid grid snap. Yeah, isn't it supposed to like snap to? Hold up. Like, this is, honestly, I don't think building is that great because it's kind of hard to do. Honestly. Okay, I did it. Okay, looks like it's good enough for that. Let's see. Um, and yeah, I have a mod where I can place things inside of things, it's great. Okay, but it also still snaps. So, I mean, it's okay to snap this, like. See, it's fine. I like how it's not even that good. Hold up, we need to like. One second. Select. To like move that over a bit, please. Maybe. No, oh, can't do anything about that. Okay, so that means. Oh my god. Hold up, let's uh. I picked up the whole thing. Crap. Um. Oh uh, no. I did not mean to do that. Hold up. Uh. <laughs> when I picked up the foundation. Oh no. Uh. 
Guys, didn't mean to do this. What did I do? Oh my god. Oh my god. Spring cleaning is too powerful. Ugh. When I picked up the whole foundation. Oh my god. Hold up. I just fucked up the whole thing. Honestly. <laughs> okay, let's reload. <laughs> Spring cleaning is too powerful of a mod. Honestly. Hold up. Sturges, I'm not I'm not ready for your shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh maybe? He'll uh will it open the workshop please? Oh, when it thinks I'm in the workshop, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it thinks I'm in the conversation. Hold up. For some reason, it thought I was still in the conversation with Sturges when I walked away from him. Okay, let's try not to activate Sturges, because there's a there's a side quest for Sturges, but I'm not doing that. Okay. I don't I don't wanna. Uh. So, let's try this again. Save it now. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold up. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So. Gonna... Building a, building a house is really hard, guys. Okay. So, wait. The building in this game is honestly not that great. Um, but I really know in this, like, 3D world, you know, like, and how the game is built, I don't really know. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, Todd definitely lied when he said it just works. But, um, but can say is pretty cool what people have done with it it's just I'm really it just it takes a lot of time to do it. it's kind of frustrating and I do have plenty of mods that make it better than it is in the normal game anyways like you can't pick up the foundation and stuff like that. And there's a lot of stuff you can't clean up there's a mod called spring cleaning I have it allows you to pretty much delete anything um, yeah it actually snapped correctly that's cool this one is, I'm going to have to just put the side of it. Oh, wait, no it didn't, it didn't snap correctly. Like, okay, right, hold on. So that's, that's using a vanilla snap. What makes you think that I wanted to snap like that? No. Okay, wait, so can I turn this, like, grid snapping off? Or ship grid snap off? It doesn't even do anything. I don't. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hold up. I honestly don't even know if this is like good where it is. I have to. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe that Mama Murphy. Oh, we all know she has the imagination. She's a she's a druggie, man. Oh my god. And then like one click like I'm doing like just attack like it's that's moving it too much you know like dang mm. I'm just saying these building mechanics could be just easier like they could be a lot better honestly guys shit this is hard and no way this is gonna look as build beautiful as you want it to I'm sorry not happening. I'm just trying to build like 
a wall pretty much on a foundation and then maybe put a roof roof that's pretty much what I'm doing okay and I'll put some furniture inside but I think I'll put the door there here well, let's put the door where's doors doors Let's put like a yeah, let's do like this door. I don't know. Cool. Okay. Now let's get back to walls. I guess I'm gonna have to like put a wall up here or something. Okay. And like Probably gonna have to readjust some of this stuff, but um, it's all good. Yeah, I don't think I could actually place a wall like that, like I, like what I just did. And also, I just looked at it again. And I think I just completely fucked that up. So I'll uh, I'll fix that in a second. Okay, hold up a second. Yeah, that looks weird. Also, like. Hold up, I mean, you need to move this wall over and move it a bit into that. Okay, I think we're good. If we. Oh, I didn't mean to. Shit. There needs to be an undo button. Oh my god. Or like a redo button or so. Because, uh, did not mean to. And, like, this is way, like, a little too big of a piece, anyways. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that. Like, hold up, actually. Uh. Anyways, let's, uh, finish building. Finish. Oh! When there was actually, like, a door frame thing here. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay. Don't worry guys, this is the episode of building, but this will come in handy because I'm gonna throw I'm gonna I'm gonna create like a chest in here to throw all my shit in. So it'll be all good. Oh when you get X I didn't just realize you get XP for like Placing things down. Don't worry, we have tons of steel. So, yeah, I just realized I'm getting a little mess here with this building, but I'm just gonna like, get, just get this done. Okay. Like, oh my god, this is so hard to do. Whatever, you know? Hold up. It's good enough. Let's just finish off this wall here. And then we'll finish off, like, the roof. I don't think I'm even using the same wall for everything, but whatever. Yeah, yeah like, whatever, guys. I'm sure there'll be some, a couple mods that are even better for building uh, that just blow away the mods we have right now and the system that we have right now once the creation kit comes out. But it looks like they're not going to be releasing the creation kit until all the DLC comes out. So, uh, kind of dumb, but seems to be what they're doing. So, no, I don't want it to snap. Thank you very much. You know what? And fuck it, I'm even gonna just. I'm just gonna do that. Stop snapping! When I'm like. Hold up. I need to do like that.
when it's probably like sticking out and stuff. It's whatever. I told you this wasn't gonna be anything too fancy. It's gonna look like utter shits when this comes out, but it's okay, guys. Okay. Oh. Uh, crap. When we're out of material. Oh, uh, I did not mean to. Uh, I did not mean to delete that door. Hit the wrong button. When I think this is a different door or something. Uh, no, hold on. I meant to just. Oh, it's just escape. Okay. Uh, we're making progress. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's pretty bad. But hey. Hold up. So I'm gonna open the door. So I'm gonna. Oh, can I? Thank you. I'm gonna move that into here. Okay. Maybe. Okay. I'm gonna move my power armor. Oh, okay. You can't move the power armor. When you can, like, remove this whole place. That's pretty cool, but I'm not gonna... Okay. Actually... You know... I can remove these whole buildings and stuff. I never use them. Yeah, let's do it. Like, I, I don't use these. I don't even man- like, honestly, like, I don't even manage- I don't do the, uh, oh my god. You can delete, like, everything. That's pretty great. <laughs> this is gonna ruin the immersion of the game. But honestly, like, <coughs> sorry. I don't even, like, manage my uh, settlements. I just let them starve to death. Like, honestly, like, eh, whatever. Oh, when Cortana activates. Uh, no, stop. Sorry about that. Cortana, like, decided to activate because apparently I said something that said it sounded like, you know, saying, hey, her. Uh, so. But I'm literally scrapping, scrapping everything for steel and stuff. Great. Anyways, yeah, I'll just let them starve to death. Like honestly, like I'm surprised they don't try to like they rely on me doing things for them. Like, why can't they just try to live their own life, you know? But no, they rely on me manage man. Uh, when that looks weird, but okay. Yeah, spring cleaning allows you to delete like most individual objects and it's pretty cool or like move them and use them I don't think you can actually go into these crafting menus and like spawn all these things but you can clean almost everything up so it's pretty pretty cool honestly oh this was oh this was your house I'm destroying like the house that you lived in when the your special book. I just noticed once it said Sean's crib, like okay. <laughs> when this looks kinda wonky, but set I'm ruining I'm purposely ruin ruining uh the immersion. So I can just kinda like I look at this, I'm completely can I not Oh, when you can't scrap that roof. That looks weird. Can you not? Oh my god, you can't scrap the roof. That's hilarious. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> like, when you can scrap the, the driveway, like, that's so funny. Like, you can scrap, like, all the dirt and all that. Anyways, yeah. Like, dude. All this, like, just savage wrecks. 
If I don't do anything else in this episode, I think I'm just gonna call this episode like Sanctuary Cleanup or something. Oh, when I'm getting attacked in in build mode. Okay. When I was getting attacked in build mode, like lol. Oh, hold up. No. I'll just take that. Okay, cool. Back to this cleaning up sand. You know what? Just just to piss you guys off, I'm gonna leave it like that. Lol. Just to like ruin OCD and stuff. Okay. I don't know, we scrapped a ton of stuff already. Where did we start build like uh <laughs> broke your immersion guys. I don't think I'll uh scrap this house here because yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. It's it's okay. Uh, but yeah, now we I'm sure we have enough materials to uh, finish this. Yeah, look at how much steel we have now. Uh, that's good enough. Say I didn't really need to place that there, but that's good enough. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna place like another wall inside of this wall because like, look at. It's disgusting. There's like an open hole and stuff. I need to place one there too. Just like fill in the gaps and stuff. Okay. Oh, wait. When I was placing like boxes, hold up. Didn't even realize I was doing that, honestly. Oh my, how many did I do? Hold up. Wasn't paying enough attention, honestly. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, I leveled up from just doing this. It's great. Make Sanctuary even worse than it was before. I was say make Sanctuary great again, but I'm really, honestly, probably making it worse for them. And I'm also not helping them. Because apparently, even though they're starving to death, they're still alive somehow. So, I'll probably do some farming at some point, maybe. But besides, just just for my own, my, for, for my own good. But, um... You know, just to get some of my own food food for myself. Obviously, I don't care about anyone else. But so maybe I'll do some other stuff with with like managing the settlement. But honestly, I'm not really gonna do any of Preston Garvey's uh, bullcrap. Like, oh, I have another I have another settlement for you. Uh, I'm not gonna. Worry about any of that stuff. Who care? When there's only two roofs. Okay, bud. Hold up. Oh my god. Stop it. Fuck it. I'll just. I'll fill in the gaps with other walls. Let's just, like, actually build the... Really? I wish I had this like 
place things inside a things mod, like the first day it came out, because, oh my god, when I tried to, like, I just tried to just do some building, and, like, in vanilla game, it was awful. This is still pretty bad, honestly, but... Like, out of all the things I added to Fallout 4, it's cool, but it doesn't work very well. So... Fuck it. I was gonna try to make an immersive, um, concealed roof, like any man would, but... I can't, I can't even finish the word. Okay. Um, I apparently thought I had I'm out of steel already. Okay. Cool. I'm just, I'll finish the roof later. I don't care right now. So, uh, let's put some furniture in here. Um. When, like, pull up. Custom, okay, there we go. There we go. Put some, uh, fancy... Some fancy custom modded beds in it. Actually, I'm just gonna put one. But, uh... It's all good. When there's a bunk bed. Cool. But, yeah. I have a mod that adds some more stuff, obviously. Custom seating... Oh, that's like a like a bench. Like there's some benches and stuff here. Um I don't know. I think I'm going to put like one of those there was a table, right? There's like a booth table. Yeah, I'll put one of those in here. Why not? Right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put like a couple in here. You can make a restaurant with this, but... Actually, these might be the ones from Red Rocket, honestly. Or like one of those diners or whatever. I don't know. I'll, I'll put some places for people to sit down. They can sit down in my house if they want. Um, and then obviously, so I have this bed. I, uh, I might move the bed. <laughs> yes, this is just gonna be a one-room house. Not very immersive, but um, I don't care. And, uh, all else I really need is, uh, what a custom container. I like how apparently that's a container. Okay, hold on. Um, where's, like, uh, crafting, yeah. Armor workbench. Uh, you need local leader, really? You realize? You really need all these perks to do it. Blacksmith, local leader. Really? Didn't even know. Okay then. Hold on, but furniture. Um. Custom containers. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's put like some safes here. Apparently, they're made out of cloth, but don't worry, that's just because it's a modded item. Uh, oh, wait, did I just delete one of them? Okay, hold on. Oh! Oh no, come on! I picked up the... <coughs> <coughs> oh no. I... Mm. Oh my god, I picked up the foundation. Whatever. Can can we make a floor? Oh wait, we can't because 
one. Can we make like wood floor? No, no. Uh, I like how there's no floors. Oh, there is. Okay. Why is it not letting me, like... What's going on? Is this glitched out? It's, like, not showing up. I don't know. Whatever, I'm just gonna, uh, this is kind of frustrating. I'm just gonna, like, I was just gonna go in here and, like, throw my junk in here. So, like, all of it. And so if I ever want to do crafting, I just come back here and take all of it. And then I do my crafting, and then I just put it all back. Because I thought I had a weightless trunk pod, but I, I guess not. And I'm just going to put it all in there. Anyways, yeah. So there goes a bunch of shit. Cool. Um. So now, oh, uh. Okay, so this is the workshop. Wait. Weapons workbench. It's uh. Material. Oh, it changes like the different types of ammunition. Apparently. Oh wait, hold up. <laughs> we just put all our junk away. Let's uh, let's go get that back real quick. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not that big. Of a deal. We just uh, take off. Yes. Okay. Let's go back over here real quick. Let's see if there's anything we can make on the weapons workbench. Probably should have done this first, honestly, but let's see. Um. Oh, we need some steel. Okay, hold up. We can easily go get some steel. Hold up. Uh. Just go scrap another house, shall we? Oh, I need to go into workshop, obviously. Oh, hold up. Cool. Thanks for helping me. Okay. Okay, I have some still now. But uh, I can uh, still clean up some of this stuff. Oh, another pad roach. Uh, fighting rad roaches because they're a thing? Yeah, probably. I mean, murdering people. Probably not, but. That's just a rad roach. Chill out, Piper. Okay. Let's see, is there anything we can do now? Yes, there is. Um. Hardened receiver. Hold on. Hardened automatic receiver. Let's do hardened. Hardened frame. Yeah, let's do hardened receiver. Okay. Uh. Short barrel. No. Um, uh, I think it's good with a full stock. Medium magazine. Let's do medium a quick eject a mag. That'd be cool. Um, apparently can't do any sights on here. Oh, we can do long scope. 
Uh, yeah, let's do it. Muzzle break. Uh, better push out inferior range. Nah. Accessory. Uh, lower effective weights. Better aim with scopes. Tactical light. Mm. Ammunition. We can do explosive rounds apparently. But, oh, we need a higher level gun nut. But we actually have everything to do it. Fragmentation rounds. There's some cool, like, weapon mods there. Um. I like this dark stock uh, camo. That was pretty cool, honestly. Um, and we'll go with bipod as well. Let's see. Actually, cancel. I think we can do with this. Just color. Green. Let's see. Uh, we can do sharp. I can't. I still need higher level stuff for these. Uh, let's do sharp. Upgrade it a bit. Um, Fat Man. My like egg launcher. There's a mod that I have. Uh, you need the schematics for it. Um. Oh yeah, we can do things like with this. Mm. New powerful receiver. Upgrade that. Uh, rifle barrel. Yeah, we already put a rifle barrel on it. Uh, okay. Rifle stock on it. Um, magazine. Rifle magazine. Yeah, let's do a uh, reflex sight. Uh, cool. So we kind of made it into like a rifle thing. It would be actually, I think it would be pretty cool as a. It's like an automatic gun, and also it kind of looks like it could be an SMG, maybe. But I think, uh, I think, I think it kind of looks cool, honestly. Like, I just made it look pretty cool. Let's see, Kellogg's pistol. Anything we can do with that? No, a hardened receiver. Cool. Um, cover grip. Uh, yeah, I think cover grip is okay. Um, you know, just like modding out some of my weapons. A bit. Uh, heavy frame receiver. Yeah. I think I'm like done now because I I use a lot of my I use a lot of my materials and I don't really have a lot to mess with now. Anyways, uh. This looks kind of ridiculous, this gun, actually. But it's okay. This looks kind of ridiculous, too. <laughs> but, uh... You know... Uh... Um... And you put it away like a pistol, because, yeah. But, you know... Honestly, yeah. Kind of ridiculous. Hold on, can you craft ammo here? Is that not a thing? Where do you craft ammo? Is there, there's like an ammo workbench, isn't there? Is uh, kind of need ammo. That would be cool. Um. 
Um, so let's put all our junk back in here. Although I think we just used a lot of it. Okay, let's spam E. Just uh, try to put all the stuff in there. It just makes it so I have more carrying room and I can always put stuff in into these safes when I need to. Okay. And hold up. Do I have Kellogg's pistol as a favorite? Yes, I do. Uh, it's on zero. Um, let's replace it with nine. So, we actually have ammo for this, so I think we'll use this for now. Because <clears throat> we don't even have any of ammo for that. So, okay. Uh, we got all that done. Wow, we're already 40 minutes into the episode, and all we did was like, uh,. Yeah, all we did was mess around in Sanctuary. So, I guess that's... the yeah, episode's gonna be named after that. And, uh, I mean, I guess... I don't know. We still have, like, 20 minutes in the episode. I don't know if, how long it's gonna take to get virtual. But, uh... As most of the episode was about this, I'm gonna... Take, uh... Take a little shitty screenshot of my shitty, uh... Shitty house. I call it like. Hold up, where is even the house? It's like, I want to go like, right here. I don't know. Hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna go like from. Right there, I'm gonna call it sanctuary cleanup, even though it looks awful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now uh, I guess we can start heading to Virgil. Let's go back to settings. Display. Let's just turn our HUD back on. And uh, yeah, we gotta jump into our power armor. And then uh, I guess we'll, we'll start heading towards. Oh wait, I didn't even put my power armor into uh, into my house. I'm gonna close my door. Okay, anyways, uh, we can just jump into it right here. I don't know if <laughs> the first power armor you get really has good um, radiation protection, but, wait, but you know, it's whatever, <laughs> we need to get into it, we need to go, and uh, and just go towards the, okay, hold on, glowing sea, so glowing sea is, like, it's, it's pretty much all this huge area of radiation in the corner of, the, of, uh, of the map, you know? I guess our closest place is, like, here. But, uh, good thing we are in power armor, uh, because, um, melee weapons do more damage, and we don't have a whole lot of ammo for anything, so we're probably gonna be using melee weapons, Unless if we run into a death claw, which we most likely will run into a death claw, um, at that point we're probably screwed because I only have a bit of ammo for Kellogg's pistol. I don't think I have ammo for really anything else. That's why survival mode is the struggle. There seems to be um, less ammo spawns. I don't usually really remember my first playthrough having a struggle with finding ammo, but um, it's okay. Uh, hopefully we'll make it through this alive. Um, the thing is, is in the Diamond City, Boston, the downtown Boston area, uh, there's a lot of super mutants, isn't there? Oh. Would you look at this place? Yeah, it does look pretty cool, right? Time to scrap it all. I mean, it's, you can't build it in this area. But, um, so, I think the first time when I went to, like, some areas, I would, like, try to go in power armor and jump through the, oh no, bloat flies, my enemy. Oh, okay. Hi. We'll fly. We can't let our power armor get. Ah. 
Stupid float fly. Um. Oh, a blood su a blood bug. Oh no. Don't worry. Kellogg's pistol saved us. Actually, no, it didn't because we got poisoned. And I think uh, even trying to help here is not it. Buff out. Uh, crispy squirrel bits. Let's see. Nuka Cola Quantum. I, I I was actually pretty certain we'd still die, but. Oh, missed. Okay, got him. Okay. So let's, uh, let's keep a move on. Yeah, but if we can't let our power armor get damaged, or else there's no radiation protection, and then, um, the... Uh, glowing sea will turn us to a, into a ghoul faster than you can say kaplow or death claw or whatever you want you, or whatever you want that word to be uh, It's okay take him out with Kellogg's pistol, but we do need more ammo So you know what maybe the raiders will have ammo for the other guns we're using um, Actually what ammo does uh, the Kellogg's pistol even take? 44. Okay. Point 44. Maybe we should clear out this. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to go inside of the area here. If there was, um, you know, more raiders like in an open area and not in another cell, I was going to take them out. But actually. So Hardware Town, I'm pretty sure that is a raider base. Um, I could go in there and kill them all and get some ammo and stuff, but I really don't know if I should do that or not. Um, hold up. I have a cool little trick. So if you aim down sights of a scope, you can actually see like the normal health power. I'm just, just for safety measures, I'm gonna, I think I have a right away. Yes, I'm gonna use one right away. Right now, I'm not gonna use Rad X yet because uh, we don't need it right now. We'll need it once we get into um, the glowing sea. And now, okay, now my health bar isn't popping up. I don't know why sometimes you can't see your health bar in this game. It's weird. It's probably, oh, it's, I, I don't know. It's probably an explanation for it. I just never really figured it out. Why is this glowing? What's here? a bit of radiations there, I guess. Okay. So, there's a vertebrate around here. I hear it. Oh, there it is. I'm not I'm not really gonna go over there. I don't even know if the Brotherhood is still identifying me as a friendly yet. So I'm just kinda gonna ignore that. Um. But, yeah. So we're probably gonna run into some enemies on the way here. To the glowing city. How far are, we, are glowing city? The glowing sea. Uh, still a little bit away. Not too far, but kind of slow in power, power armor. So, um, what's that? Oh, that's a super mutant hey. with an explosive tied to him. Cool. We're fighting super mutants, oh no. See, like, this gun is very powerful, and it is protecting me, just like it protected Kellogg and his family. Oh, those, those hard hitter uh, sentences there. But, th the problem is, is that it doesn't, I don't have a whole lot of ammo for it, so. Hopefully, we'll have enough to, it's like the revolver in Half-Life. It's, it wrecks everyone, but you never have a lot of ammo for it. Uh, there's a legendary enemy up there. I'm gonna try to take him out with Kellogg's pistol. And then maybe go up there and maybe have some good treats for me as an ammo or a decent gun. Uh, okay. Oh god, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. 
He's almost dead. Just don't don't mutate. Please don't mutate. Killed him. And go up there. Maybe I should uh, heal a bit with something. Oh, I have some stim packs. That's good. So I'm out of ammo on the uh, Kellogg's pistol, so. Well, I just stopped your legendary friend, so. Um, I think this was actually the legendary guy. Wait, so did that give me. That did give me 14 ammo. Cool. Oh, mini nuke. Cool. You could cherry. Oh, what's up here? Pocketed. Is that any big good? No. Drop that too. I don't need the trench coat. Where is he? Where is the super moon that I was just talking? Is he, he's got. He's like under us. Oh, there's a door I can uh, lock pick here. Sweet. I can smell you out there, little snake. Uh, there's not really anything in here. Good fight, human. Oh, there You'll he is. Die well. ah. Cool. You're dead. Awesome. Anything in here? Bobby pin box. 45 round. We need 44. Not 45, but okay. We might have something else that takes 45. I'm not actually sure. Wait, isn't 45 like pistol rounds? Like, like there's kind of pistol? Like a, like a Colt. Oh, 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 I think we got out of the way of that. I'm surprised our power armor is not damaged yet. That is good. That is very good. Which, it wouldn't be too big of a deal if it was because we could, because we've discovered locations so we can go back to Sanctuary, repair it, and then teleport to a closer location. Uh, to our destination, so that's okay. It's, it's not too big of a deal if it does get damaged, but uh, you know, hopefully we won't have to go back just to fix it. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure you need to have a fully uh, intact power armor. Oh my god, there's so many traps around here. Oh my god. You need to have fully intact power armor to uh, not die of radiation like instantly in the uh, Glowing sea. And this really old, like, Gen 1 power armor that's not very good um, probably isn't the best protection. Maybe we should have got, um, just leveled up a lot and got the XO 1 power armor. Because uh, if you don't know, I think it was in Trinity Tower. I can't remember exactly, but there is a place or a building where there is XO 1 power armor at the top. So it's like a dungeon you fight through, and there's XO 1 power armor at the top of it, but it doesn't spawn there until like, level 30. So. That's cool, I guess. Uh, is there anything in this house here? I think it was Trinity Plaza. We discovered it earlier, either in this episode or like the last episode, but... Um, no, it was definitely the last episode. We didn't really do much in this episode, but... Uh, it was in the last couple episodes, I don't know. I, it, I think it might have been the last one, but... Hold on. Okay. Got it. Don't need that. Um... Okay, nothing really here. Cool. Whatever. Uh, anything up there? Oh! Hey. There you are. Legendary rag stag. Those things don't even attack you. I mean, if you attack them, they attack you, but... Is there any point to killing this thing? I guess we'll find out if it has any loot. I don't know. See, does it have anything? Plasma infused bolt, a pipe bolt action pistol. 
Okay. It's probably just gonna really uh, replace her other. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop that and keep this. Um. Okay. I favorite it. Let's look at it real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it just looks like a pipe pistol, but I guess it has some sort of legendary modification on it, so it's okay, I guess. Um, so, yeah, something just blew up over there. There's uh, Brotherhood of Steel fighting something. Can't see too well. Uh, don't know if they'll... I guess I have to go that way, don't I? Don't know if they're uh, what's going to attack me. I'm guessing whatever the Brotherhood of Steel attacking is going to attack me, but I don't... The vertebrate just blew up. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of super mutants over there, if I remember correctly, actually. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. How do we get over there? I don't want to just jump through the water. It's kind of annoying. I did do that, but I know there's like an actual legitimate way over there. Hold up. Oh, is there is there really not? Because this right here that I'm putting my mouse on, that's a broken bridge. Is there shallow water anywhere though? Wait. I guess there's like whatever this is here. You might be able to get onto this. This uh over here. That would require you to go back pretty far, or or in case, or unless if this is the bridge. But I'm pretty sure the smaller. <sighs> Fuck it, I'll just jump. Uh, let's put a radax on. Actually, I think it's good good time to put a radax. Just one though. We're just going in the water. But the, yeah, we're gonna have to like jump. Fun, right, guys? I can't even, like, see. Somehow Piper's ta talking. I don't know. Where even am I? I can't see. Hopefully I'm making it across and there's, like, it's... You can even jump up onto this land, hopefully. You can get shallower water soon. And we'll be able to see what's going on. We're actually about to break the surface. Cool. Cool. Um. Cool. So, we got to the other side. That's great. Um. Let's see. Oh, uh, we didn't even get that irradiated. I think we'll just we'll use a Radex and a Rad away right before we start going in to the uh, <clears throat> and we heal our health and right before we go into the uh, glowing sea. But I think we're fine for now, so it's all good. Another thing we gotta worry about is hopefully I have enough uh, fusion cores to get through all of this. Uh, there is something over there. Cool. I think there's more. Oh, okay. It's just I'm running out really fast. Uh... I missed him. Okay, thanks, Piper. Got him for me. It's probably more. So you gotta watch out. I don't know why the marker's like right here. Is this like where the radiation storm starts? Why is the marker like right in front of me? Is it? Well, let's see. 
Actually, I think we're just about to cross into the radiation area, so I'm gonna do like, <clears throat> let's see, do a st uh, a right away, a stim pack. I think that's gonna be enough, and then a radix. Um, let's look real quick. Yeah. Okay. It'll get us to full health. Let's go. Oh. Okay. The marker changed. But I think we are still getting about yeah edge of the glowing sea. <clears throat> Let's go. Going into the glowing sea, and uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Do we have any pipe ammo? Yeah, we're kind of screwed on the ammo situation. And we have a bit of shotgun ammo. I don't know. Yeah, the ammo situation is not that great. Uh, at least our power armor managed to be okay up until here. But, there, you know what? I'm going to try to be a little careful, though. There are death claws, but I think we can probably sneak around them and stuff. So let's just keep our eyes out and ears out. For death calls. Actually, the episode's already over an hour a little bit. Maybe I'll run this episode a little longer because we're it's ex getting exciting. We're going into the glowing sea, so and the glowing sea looks really, really cool, but also very, very scary. There's actually probably a bunch of stuff out here in the glowing sea that I've never seen before. You might run into some of it. Like, apparently there's an airplane thing over there, and, like, I think there's a church symbol on the compass on our bottom. But we're just gonna keep on getting our way to Virgil. I like how we know exactly where Virgil is, apparently, though. I don't know how we would have a marker in the place where exactly where he is. That is kind of weird, don't you think? But, whatever. And we're keeping our radiation to a minimum. Um, I'm gonna I'm just use another Red X because I don't know how long those things last and it could be scary So I'm just gonna use one every once in a while just just for safety uh, because I don't want we us to start picking up a bunch of radiation um, And then have to use it because that could be bad And then I also have not saved in a long time and then like You know die even though I'm, I'm gonna be saving quite a bit anyways because, uh, yeah. Um, that's just how I play these games. Save every five seconds and you should be fine. That looks really scary. Don't know why it looks like that. Okay, we just, uh, removed a fusion core. We still have. I'm pretty sure when it says one, that doesn't mean we're on our last one. That means we used one and we still have one more after this. So we'll be on zero and we'll still have power. Okay, our radiation is going up a lot. That's just because we went to a highly irradiated, re irradiated area. I think I'm going to use another Radex, just in case. There's also something behind us. I just heard Piper shoot it. I think it died. Hopefully it did. We haven't read into any death claws yet, but I actually, I think running into a death claw is a scripted thing. I think it actually there's always going to be one in your path. Uh, I have a feeling that something Todd did, just to mess with us, maybe. Um, I don't think climbing up this mountain is actually how you're supposed to get up there. Actually, no. One. I think the entrance is at, at the top of the mountain, near the top of the mountain, uh, to Virgil's cave. But uh. Oh no, I remember now. It's like in a cave over there, but I'm pretty sure there's a death claw that spawns like right here. He comes out and or something. It's actually a scripted event, I'm pretty sure. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All you gotta do is open it. Traitor of Adam. And one thing I gotta say is how is Piper fine? But I, I had to have radiation protection. Well, apparently all this stuff is owned by... What am I detected by? I said detected. 
it usually does oh I didn't I, I, for, I forgot that he would be outside you approach Adam's holy ground. why state your purpose or be divided in his sight. how is she okay um need help I'm here because I need your help do you seek division have you yeah, how she finds you I don't know to be split in his infinite glory or do you seek to tear down his followers uh Virgil. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil. Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? Uh, need for information. Need some information on him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Okay. I kind of forgot about this part where, like, we talk to someone else and they say where he is. I kind of forgot about that. But anyways, um, also, but how did we know about these guys? How did we know they were there? I don't remember that being a thing we learned. Just remember that Virgil was in the building, see? That was it. Anyways, done. Oh, right axe is worn off. Okay, we need to act quick on that. Okay. And you're probably gonna hear someone yelling in the background. I'm sorry about that. Can't do anything about it. Um. You know, you need to enforce your dog with uh, loud, loud words. So, I'm sorry about that. But. Okay. Um. We're almost to Virgil. Still haven't encountered the Death Claw somehow, but I'm I'm still fearing it because Death Claws uh, can be very, very, very secretive. Okay, just a Stingwing. Although don't actually know what a Stingwing is. Okay, just a lot of Stingwings. Hopefully they're not gonna murder us. Uh, that one looks like it's trying to murder me. Okay, killed that one. Cool. I don't have a whole lot of ammo left, though. Um, uh, uh, six. I think a shotgun will be just fine against a stingwing. Um, okay, we didn't take too much damage. Let's just try to kill the stingwing. Uh, didn't kill it. Didn't quite kill it. It's okay. I think I can get it. Okay, cool. Um, now I'm gonna, you know, use a stim pack or two, and, uh, we'll be fine. We'll, we're absolutely fine. Okay. Um. Let's keep on going. Almost there. Still have some now, somehow, I just realized another fusion core has been used. So we're on our last fusion core. While these things get eaten up pretty fast, I do gotta say, hopefully we can make it. Uh, two virtual without, um, you know, getting destroyed by Death Claw or running out of power, because that would be bad. I don't think we would die of radiation or anything because we ran out of power, but it makes us really slow if I ran. Oh, okay, yes, so there always is a Death Claw instead of Virgil's cave, in, fr in front of Virgil's cave. I, we just learned this now. Um, th that's not cool. Uh, it's a legendary Death Claw, too. Or are all Death Calls legendary? I don't know. But. Uh. This gun is doing quite a bit of damage to him. But I think. It says he's legendary. So that means he can mutate. Uh. Which, you know. That's not fun. Oh no. And this is survival mode. And we're fighting a Death Call. Remember the, first, the, the last Death Call we tried fighting? That didn't go very well. But although I did try to do a melee a Death Call, I think I kind of glitched him out. I don't know. He's kind of stuck or something. That's perfectly okay. Um, we are out of ammo. That is not good. Uh, not good at all. But apparently another gun I have. Okay, so, um. Oh, Radex is worn off. I need to use a Radex. Okay, um, so, uh, Piper. I'll let Piper finish him off. I guess he's stuck, so, um. 
Okay, maybe I can go up and beat him to death. This is the melee kill uh, that we all wanted to see. Oh, oh, uh, um, um. This is not good. I think I just got him unstuck. And also, my melee attacks are doing absolutely nothing to this death call, and I think he's about to kill me. Um, well, okay, a piece of my armor just broke. Apparently, you don't need full armor to, uh... Oh, no, radiation is definitely getting in. I'm gonna quick load. Um, okay. That didn't go very well. Uh... Well, I still have ammo on this thing. I'll, uh, shoot him a bit. That is doing absolutely nothing. Uh... I'll just let Piper finish him off. I'll just stand here. Uh, wait. One. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just let Piper finish him off. He can do this, Piper. I like how he, this is actually a thing you can do. Oh, just realized I forgot that I saved right after radiation protection uh, went away. You need to use a Red X. Okay. Cool. Piper had killed the Death Claw. Nice job. Oh, there's actually a radiation storm now. We should probably start heading inside. Thanks, Piper, for killing that death claw. That was nice. Nice, nice kill. Okay, cool. We're all good. We got inside. We're talking to Virgil. I don't remember these things are gonna attack us, so hold up. Uh, why can't I put my gun away? Okay, are these- are they gonna attack us? No. Okay. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? No, no, nope, nope, that's not what's going on. Not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Uh, take it take easy. easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead. He's dead. Don't you lie to me. Um, not lying. Not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. I tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? And yep. what you want with me? Um... Why leave? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? Sorry, Virgil. I, I'll get more on track. Um, information. I whatever information you've got. Anything to help me get into the Institute. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it would almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have? For taking that kind of risk. Uh, my son. I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. No. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you want to get in there. I can help. Oh, Red X has uh, gone away, but it's okay, we're inside. Uh, okay. You help okay. me, and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right. 
Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the institute? Uh, teleportation, yeah. obviously. Some sort of teleporter? Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute Corsa? Um... I don't, I don't really know. Doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> Not surprising. <laughs> they do come out often. And when they do, few see them. Coursers are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Uh, okay. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay. Okay. Let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, we just completed the glowing sea, and we leveled up again. Um, you know what, actually, I think we're going to rename this episode to the glowing sea, since we did that in this episode, and we started Hunter Hunted, which we're not, we're, we're not going to do that in this episode, but what we are going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of, like, the glowing sea, and we're going to use that for a thumbnail, but, you know, I don't have to do that in the episode. Anyway, guys, uh... If you enjoyed, if you didn't, please leave a like. It really helps out. Go ahead and subscribe to keep up on all our videos. I am Measure, and I am out. Peace.